This video is on networks and graphs. We're looking at bipartite graphs and something called the assignment problem. Now, uh, what we're learning to do is know what a bipartite graph is, how to draw bipartite graphs, and use a logical approach to find possible assignments. So here's our example. Uh, there are four children and four ice cream treats in the freezer. So Tom, Dick, Harry, and Lisa, and uh, four ice creams, Snow Queen, Igloo, Havana, and Frosty Boy. Now, first question is, what features of the graph make it bipartite? So in order to be bipartite, you must have two sets of data, like this, which are linked to each other, but are not linked within themselves. So um, the left-hand side links to the data on the right-hand side, but there are no links between these. So Tom doesn't link to Dick or to Harry or to Lisa or anything like that and Snow Queen doesn't link to Igloo or Havana. So we're only going across, linking these um, vertices here to these vertices over here. Now, what ice creams does Harry like? We can see here that this indicates that Harry likes both Igloo and Frosty Boy. The question is, can we assign each of the children an ice cream so that everyone is happy? Now, the way to do this is uh, to take a logical approach. Our first question should be, is there anyone on the left hand side that only likes one ice cream or are there any ice creams over here that are only liked by one person because if there are we're going to have to link those people so if i start here with um tom he likes two uh, dick likes two harry likes two but lisa only likes one that's havana that means that lisa has to be linked to havana now our next step then is to get rid of any useless edges so um if lisa has to be uh, linked with Havana, then we can get rid of this edge here. It's no good to us anymore. Now that means that Dick, because he only liked two, has to go with Frosty Boy. And that means we can get rid of this edge because it's useless. If Dick has to be linked with Frosty Boy, then Harry can't be linked with Frosty Boy. Now that means that Harry has to be with Igloo. So we can get rid of this useless edge here meaning that Tom has to go with Snow Queen. And now everybody has a match. So we've solved the assignment problem. Um, so step three was just to keep going there. Um, and uh, if we'd started um, with another one, so we started there with uh, Lisa had to go with Havana. The other way to do that would have been to look down this side and say, well, is there any ice cream that can only have one? And that was Snow Queen and Tom. Now, if we'd have done that first and crossed that one out, we would have ended up with exactly the same result here. So. Uh, this is our final result. Tom, Snow Queen, Dick, Frosty Boy, Harry, Igloo, and Lisa, Havana. So that's our final answer here. Okay, now, uh, a school must allocate teachers to classes as follows. So what we're going to do now is create the bipartite graph before we solve the assignment problem. Well, Miss Swift can only teach maths and English, Mr. Chalk, English Business Studies, Mr. Wise, Maths and Physics, and Mr. Longbottom, only Business Studies. So the first thing we need is a list of teachers and uh, each one of those is a vertex and then we have a list of subjects and each one of those is a vertex and the thing to do then is to go through the list and to join up uh, with arrows uh, any of them that fit together so uh, so miss swift can teach english or maths Mr. Chalk can teach English or Business Studies, uh, Mr. Wise can teach Maths or Physics, and Mr. Longbottom can only teach Business Studies. So, uh, we've got our bipartite graph linking everyone. Now what we need to do is uh, go through in a logical approach uh, to work out who can teach what. Well, our first thing is that, um, just like before, is there anyone or anything that can only be taught by one person? And Mr. Longbottom is the only one who can do um, sorry, the only thing Mr. Longbottom can do is business studies, so he has to be linked there, Mr. Longbottom and business studies. Now that means we can cross Mr. Chalk off here because that's a useless edge because Mr. Longbottom is going to be doing business studies, so he can't. Now that means that Mr. Chalk has to then do English. And uh, then we can cross out Ms. Swift from English and she is going to have to do maths which means we can cross out Mr. Wise from this, who is going to have to do physics. So, there's
there's our final matching, our final assignment. So uh, there's our final assignment. Um, so, recap. A bipartite graph consists of two sets of data which are linked to each other but are separate from one another. So there's no linking within each set. So for example, teachers and subjects that they can teach. We link teachers to subjects, but we don't link teachers to teachers and we don't link subjects to subjects. If we're trying to solve this particular problem, use a logical approach, first finding those that can only do one thing uh, or those things that can only be done by one person. So in this case, chemistry you know, can only be done by Ms. C. So cross out the useless edge here, uh, meaning that maths can now only be done by Ms. B. Cross out that useless edge there, meaning Ms. A must do biology. And there is our final assignment. Okay, that's it. Thanks.